Ukraine's new pro-EU government and the West continue to deal with Russia's annexation of Crimea, the government of Moldova also increasingly feared their road towards further EU integration could be held up by Russian intervention. The region of Gagauzia is home to a 150,000 ethnic Turkic minority whose leaders oppose Moldova's EU course because of their orthodox beliefs and history of close ties with Russia. Residents feel poorly treated by the central government and like Transnistria, a breakaway region in the east of Moldova would prefer closer ties with their Soviet master. Last year, Moscow banned wines from Moldova, depriving the industry of its biggest market, worth over $100 million annually. In February, a referendum was held in the province in which an overwhelming majority called to join a Russian-led customs union rather than a political and trade pact with the EU. Since then, the Kremlin has started to offer concessions to the region. <laughs> Our company sends our wines to 19 countries in the world, both in the East and in the West. Of course, we are happy that the Russian market has now opened to us. We are ready to further cooperate in this direction. Under the law, Gagauzia has the right to a certain degree of autonomy within Moldova, but its leaders say the central government has not given them many rights. If our rights are violated, we will appeal not only to Russia, we will appeal to Turkey too. We will appeal to Hungary, we will appeal to Germany, we will appeal to Slovakia, we will appeal to Poland where our friends live, we will appeal to the whole world. Nobody should violate our rights. Our interests should be respected. Now Moldova, a landlocked country of three and a half million, bordered by Ukraine and Romania, must deal with Russia, a country seen by some as just fanning tensions as part of a divide and rule strategy that has unnerving parallels with the recent annexation of Crimea.